Yo, my Battlefield nerds, what's going on? Uh, I'm here to bring you guys another Bunker Buddies video of uh, me and my squad members just hanging out, chilling in the bunkers, getting as many kills as we can, kind of playing the objective, PTFO, kind of not at the same time, just camping, having fun, getting kills. So we kind of noticed the enemy kind of doing the same tactic as us, is uh, backflagging. So at first we tried to counter them by taking back our, our, our home base, by taking our home bunker. And later on you'll see in the video that we end up using the same tactic and going up behind on them and backflagging and camping in their bunker. We are losing objective butter. We have taken objective butter. We have taken objective Charlie. Are you in there? You locked the doors? Alright, so finally one of our squad members gets into the enemy bunker, and it's time for us to be bunker buddies and camp it out. Uh, first little tip when you're in the bunker, make sure the doors are locked. There's a way to lock it and a way to unlock it, but only within the bunker, and the guys on the outside cannot get in if the door is locked. Um, you can blow it up, I believe, with two regular grenades or an anti-tank grenade. So if you guys haven't realized, at the very top you see where the, the objective is, where it says D, and you can see it's switching between blue and red, and that's how you can count how many players are within the area. So I believe right now we have three guys in the area, so the enemy only has two, because it's more blue than red, and you'll see it will switch, it will turn to more red than blue. So that's the way you can count how many enemies are within your, the area that you are in, so you know how many enemies you to expect coming through the bunker doors. Objective Duff. We have lost Objective Duff. So as you guys can see that there's so many enemies that they're even capping the point with three to four of us down in the bunker. So that's how you can tell how many enemies are in the area that you are in. Yeah, but you do it right beside I can't, I can't read it. Buddy, you this time, buddy. A sentry kit is available near your location. There's another guy. Ecco qui, cassetta medica. Cassetta medica, ecco. We have 
taken objective Charlie. Echo una caseta medica. So you guys probably can't hear it, but I actually get really mad at one of the fucking blueberries because he's a fucking blueberry and spawns as a scout class in a fucking bunker. It doesn't come with ammo or not even a machine gun. So I get really pissed about that. So that's why it's always good to make sure you have good squad members when you are doing this and not just some random fucking blueberries that don't even know how to play the game. We have lost objective Charlie. Echo una caseta medica. Oh, the ghost, the other guard. Get out, get out, get out. Forza con la caseta medica. No, no, this guy. So as you guys can see, it took, some, it took them about 5 minutes to finally get us out of the bunker of the back and forth gameplay. And the only reason I died was because I used a gun I've never seen or used before. Uh, in my next video, I, I plan on doing a, a pilot video coming up on uh, which classes work best for me and which ones I think are pointless and which ones are the best ones to use for each, uh, for each plane that you can use in the game. Uh, I hope you guys like the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out my other videos, I got a lot of pretty good videos, and uh, yeah, I got more coming for you guys, thanks for watching.